Welcome to the Work Climb event. This is going to simulate a day at work for a climber. You have five minutes to complete five stations in the tree. There is going to be a handsaw bell, pole saw bell, a weighted limb, a limb toss, and there's going to be a hand bell at the very end where you'll descend out the tree onto a target. Michael's going to demonstrate each of those stations in the tree for you, and then there are going to be timestamps at the bottom for each of them so you can go back and play as many times as you want. At the very end of the video, he's going to be doing a full run of the whole work climb for you just like we did in the rescue. So we're gonna talk about some gear that you'll need to do this event. The gear you'll need for the work climb event is your tree climbing harness with a suitable lanyard, your climbing system. So here I have my rope wrench, hitch cordage, and a hitch climber. You'll need approved climbing line for your climbing system of choice. Preferably with a splice at the end, but you don't necessarily need to have that. You'll need to have your climbing system pre-tied how you like it for the technician to install it at the top of the tree for you to do your run. You also need a handsaw to hit the bells with. It is a must that you do not have any teeth on your handsaw. So if you don't have a spare blade that you can grind down, where I'll show you next, you can take a bit of cardboard and an electrical tape all the way around that so there is no sharp edges on your handsaw. So this is just an old climbing saw blade that has been ground down so it's nice and blunt for you hit those bells. On the end of it we have a bungee tether. The reason why we have this on our hand saws is in case when moving through the canopy the blade can get caught on some branches and if it pulls it out the scabbard it's only just going to hang from your tree climbing harness just like that. If anything falls off of you, any gear or a branch that is bigger than the specified size, you will be disqualified from the event. Now we're going to move on to doing the stations in the tree. So here we are at the top of the, the tree, ready to start the station. So you'd get here, technician would put your rope into the tree and tie it off for you. Then he'd ask you to lanyard in in a des designated spot. And then also this would be the start horn. In this scenario, it'll probably be a bell or an actual physical horn. So we, in ours, have got a chicken. So, so you will be able to gather your thoughts now and look down through and follow your rope and see where all the bells are so you know where to go. And then once you're ready, the technician would shout down to the judges, ask if they're ready. And then once you're ready to go, you'd literally go press the bell Take your lanyard off and then move over to the next station. So I'll see you over at the pole saw. So here we are at the pole saw station. So it'd be dangling down here like this. And then you'd have to shout, like, stand clear, loose gear as you take it off. And then two hands on the pole saw, cutting ends there on the other end, as you can see. And the bell on this scenario is over here. So the shout, stand clear, bell. Hit the bell. And then the important thing on this station is dangling the pole saw in the exact same spot it was when you got to the station. So you'd reattach it, and then take your lanyard off and then you'd swing over to the next station. So now we're at the, the one bell handsaw bell. So I lanyard it in like that, and then you shout all clear bell, and then two hands on the handsaw, hit the bell, and then that's that for that station. So then you just take your lanyard off and then move over to, on this one, the log toss next. Okay, so here we are at the log toss station. Just gonna lanyard in again. And then first off, you have to say stand clear again to hit the bell. Two hands on the handsaw, hit the bell. And on this one, you have two attempts with some logs in a bag that you can see here. And then you throw down towards the log, the, the basket, sorry, 
down the ground and hopefully you can get it first or second shot. So stand clear, log. So that was a miss. Let's try and get it on the second throw. Stand clear, log again. And that was a miss as well. So yeah. So then you'd stay at Lanyard off now and then you'd move to the last station, which is our second to last station, which is the weighted branch. So here we are at the weighted branch. So to start with, you have to touch this tape with your feet and then move out, making sure that your feet stay in contact with the branch all the way. And then the idea behind this one is you have to keep as little weight off as possible because there will be a, a plumb bob which goes down and up. So you need to keep your weight off the branch, keep it as in the middle as possible. And then you need to get out to the end. Again, one yard in. And then all clear for bell. Two hands again on the hand saw and hit the bell. And then the hardest bit now is getting back in. So take your lanyard off and then being as light as you can to get back in without putting any weight on the branch. Make your way slowly back in. Again, keeping contact with the branch at all times. All the way back to the tape that you started at. So you need to finish the branch and it finishes when your foot touches the, the tape. And then that's the end of that station. And now we've just got the descent. So here we are now at the uh, landing station. So you've just got a handbell here. So you don't need to lanyard in, you don't need to hit it with your hand saw, it's just, just with your hand, just like that. So stand clear landing bell. And then what we have down on the, on the floor now is a circle with an inner and an outer circle. So check the rule book and the score sheet and it'll tell you exactly where your points are. So you want to, in the perfect world, land bang in the center with both feet together to get maximum points on the, on the landing. So uh, we'll say stand clear for landing now and then we'll jump into the circle. And then your time will stop when you unclip the system. So stop there and that'll be the end of that. So that'll be the end of your climb and you get your time and, your, and, and you'd, uh, that's that. So now we'll just do quickly do a, a run through of the whole event, a quick demo, and uh, then we'll go on to penalty points. Stand clear loose gear. Stand clear bell. Stand clear reattaching. Stand clear swing. Stand clear bell. Stand clear swing. Stand clear bell. Hey. 
All right, so before I pass on to Kate uh, with the uh, penalty points and everything, we'd just like to go over that here in the UK that we have been doing some comps where you've been on two lines because that's what we're meant to be doing now at work. So this is an option here. So I've just got a zigzag and chicane, a uh, single line, and then you're allowed to use a hitch, which would be like a backup as such. So if this line was to fail, this one would catch you. So that's the idea behind that. So you can use that, that is one option. Or you could, if you like double rope, you could use a, a zigzag uh, in double rope configuration with this trailing behind or this two double rope, two zigzags. However you want, it just needs to be in, in some of the UK comps now, we've been trying this. Um, whether it's gonna stay, I'm not sure, but this is what we've been doing. So this is an option so you don't get too confused on the day. Uh, they will do also on the walk round, they'll do a, a demo run. So you will be able to see it from the floor and see, not just like even if you're in another country and do on one rope, they'll still be able to see the whole climb in, in a demo run. Uh, if you're first in your group, like, so you'll at least get to see someone. And then also, if you know I've done the two rope thing, this is, um, you'll see this as well in action. So I just wanted to mention that uh, before I passed over to Kate. Um, so yeah, I'll just pass over to Kate now. Thanks, Michael, for that demo. Hope you guys enjoyed that and learned a lot. We're gonna move on to, into some nitty gritty points on the work climb. The link for the rules is going to be in the description box below, just as the same in all the other videos. So some key things to remember is your lanyard usage. Make sure you're using that correctly on every single station. You always need to have an audible warning before doing anything. So pulling your handsaw out to hit the bell, you need to say stand clear. When um, detaching any tools, so say the pole, you need to hang that back up. You also need to warn when you detach it and put it back because you do have loose gear. There is people below you, so that is the purpose of that. Also, you need to make sure you do not have a ton of slack in your rope. You will be warned once for that. If you get warned again, you potentially could be disqualified from the event and you get no points. So that's some big things to remember. Hope you guys really enjoyed the series. Please like and subscribe and then stay tuned because we will be having a master's video in the near future. Thanks. Demonstrate your skills on a day. I like the intro, but hang on. To welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> Sit. I think he's gonna be fine. In this case, since it has teeth on it, we got a dog in the camera. Start from the top. <laughs> So the camera will move on this because I probably will end up putting my foot on it. <laughs>